Alright, hey guys, this is an update on my homemade steam boiler. What I've done is I've scrapped the idea of using the copper boiler because the walls in that were a bit too thin. I was a bit of safety concerns. And what I've gone with is a handheld Primus blowtorch bottle. Still got the original gas valve there. That works great because I'm going to probably use that to um, blow some steam out you know, in case that valve fails or gets stuck. Um, also, I use this valve to know the water height because I open it up, fill it up, and when that starts dribbling water, I know I'm at the correct, correct height because if it goes any higher, it starts spluttering and, and just sprays hot water everywhere, which is bad. Um, just got a brass ball valve from an air compressor, works great. A pressure gauge that goes up to only 35 psi. No, 30. Yeah. So, I don't know an application you might use pressure that low, but works great for this. And I've made a safety valve. Um, don't worry, it won't blow up because I followed it from a 1970 patent. And it's entirely safe. It's not like a uh, blow off valve, it always resets. It's um, just got some tin can for the bits, a spring from a, what is it, a carburetor, and a, sp a small ball bearing. So that works fine. I've set it to go off at 25 psi, and this isn't going to make it blow up or get anywhere near that because I've pressure tested this boiler to go well over 120 and doesn't even leak then. So it runs really good, and now I'm going to show you. Just use standard barbie gas and uh, the, um, I use a blowtorch and this is silver soldered so the blowtorch won't melt the solder and make it blow up either. So, yeah, building pressure. Valve's gonna go soon. The at 25. There it goes. It always maintains that pressure too. If I release some steam, it goes off. Builds that pressure again and goes off. So very safe. So let's let off some steam. Runs pretty good. So there we go. Not bad for homemade. All you gotta do now is um, make a firebox or cowling to go over it, and uh, make a burner, like a proper one instead of using a blowtorch. And then I gotta try and find or make a steam engine. So um, that's about it. Hasn't cost anything to make, and runs beautifully.